Hi, I'm Father Alex Gusenis from the Center for Family Care. Do you know whose feast day we commemorate during this Advent season? St. Nicholas of Myra on December the 6th, one of the most beloved saints in the church. This fourth century bishop models a life of faith, courage, kindness, and service to others. During the persecution of Christians under Emperor Diocletian, Bishop Nicholas was imprisoned with other Christians for refusing to worship idols. Even while in prison, he encouraged his flock to remain faithful despite maltreatment. St. Nicholas was present at the First Ecumenical Council, fervently defending the church teachings on the Trinity and divinity of Christ against the Arian controversy. He is also known as a miracle worker performing miracles during his lifetime and up to the present age. St. Nicholas is the patron saint of sailors and all travelers, with chapels often dedicated to him on ports. But St. Nicholas is most well known for his care and compassion of the poor. One tradition tells us of a certain man in a village who had three daughters who were of age to marry. The father was so impoverished he could not afford dowries for his daughters. Neither could he support them at home any longer. He had reached a desperate state and was preparing to sell his daughters into servitude. Bishop Nicholas heard of the family's plight and wishing to help, secretly dropped three bags of gold, one for each daughter, into stockings that were hanging on the fireplace. The father and daughters rejoiced at the generosity and deliverance they received, eventually learning that their gifts were offered by Bishop Nicholas. The takeaway is that Bishop Nicholas, as a good shepherd, recognized a need in his flock, felt compassion, responded to the need, and in humility did not draw attention to himself for his good deed. Another tradition states that instead of stockings, Bishop Nicholas's gifts all landed in the shoes of the daughters. So it has become a tradition to lay out our shoes on the eve of St. Nicholas's feast day in hopes of finding gold coins in them when we wake. Pastor, theologian, servant. These are only three of the many virtues describing the life of St. Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Myra. We are blessed to have three children in our family. When our son was born, we immediately named him Nicholas in honor of this great saint. During this Advent season, we are on a journey to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This journey continually reminds us of a theme of giving. The Father gave his Son, the Magi gave gifts, Saint Nicholas gave in secret, and even we will give gifts to those we love this season. Christ is born, glorify him.